From Two News, this is Breaking News. Good evening, thanks for joining us. There is currently an extremely heavy police presence in West Reno in response to a shooting that has injured at least three people. We're told at least one officer has been shot and taken to the hospital. As you can see here, it's taking place on Sky Valley Drive near an apartment complex. Officials are advising people to avoid the area until further notice. We send it over now to Alexander Ray, who's live at the scene. Alexander, what can you tell us so far? Yet it was a very active scene a little earlier tonight. Now we can say that Reno police did confirm that earlier there was about 60 different police officers from different agencies that were local. Now we can also say that there was an active shooting that took place and so far and they were trying to gain access to the apartment that they believe the suspect is in right now. That our officers responded and then a shooting took place. Uh, we have two suspects that have been shot. We have two officers that were involved in the shooting, and one of our officers was shot. Yeah, and currently two SWAT teams were on scene, and police say that they do not know how much longer that they might be trying to get into the suspected apartment. We're taking it very seriously. Obviously, we're concerned about the safety of everybody. There was apparently a lot of guns involved um, from the, you know, the suspects were armed as you know, obviously our officers were too. Now they also tell us that residents of the apartment complex were being evacuated, many of which were displaced for the night. We spoke to a resident who says he heard the gunshots right outside of his apartment and then had to leave, exiting using a ladder from his balcony. And then I looked out my front door window, like which is where my room is, and I looked out and I just saw two char cop chargers pull up. All of a sudden, I look outside and there's a cop standing right on my balcony, and I'm like, oh. Right now, the police presence is a lot lighter than earlier, but police are still on scene. We were told that an investigative team is on standby at the scene and is still very active. Now, police are also telling everyone to avoid the area if possible. Make sure that you're not coming over here, and then we'll try to get more information as the night goes on. Covering breaking news live, Alexander Ray, 2 News.